National Guard is helping patrol our southern border with Mexico. Yeah, it's where they've been for the past eight weeks, helping secure the area. But what is the specific role they're playing? KETV Newswatch 7's Bill Shammert is in Eagle Pass to find out. The National Guard has escorted us inside Shelby Park. This is the Rio Grande River right here. It didn't take long for us to find just beyond the wire and the fencing, a family trying to get into the United States. You can see it looks like they have a young child with them. It's a sight they're used to seeing here in Shelby Park. Like so many others, this family will now be detained and depending on charges, sent immediately back to Mexico or given a court date and released in the U.S. The Rio Grande River stretches more than 1,200 miles along the Mexico-Texas border. The Nebraska National Guard is helping to observe less than 1% of that. Uh, so Nebraska operates out of static points. Um, we have a Humvee stationed at each of these high traffic areas, and uh, there will be a Nebraska personnel and a Texas personnel working together. They are stationed about 20 miles north of Eagle Pass in Komodo, but two of their leaders met us at Shelby Park to talk about their mission. So really, we're kind of there to observe, direct, and report. They work eight-hour shifts, usually five days a week. A Nebraska crew is on the clock and helping 24-7. Families are coming across using clothes and whatever means available to get across the wire that we have set in place and then walking up to us and uh, essentially giving themselves up. They call their role strictly observational. Nebraska is allowed to uh, tell them to, to basically sit, stay where they are, um, put their hands behind their back, but we don't have any arresting authority. We just hand them over to the local law enforcement. Like almost every other Nebraska Guard member, they have civilian jobs. Uh, First Lieutenant Jonathan Engelman works in construction back in Lincoln. Some people want to get away from their civilian jobs for a little while. Some people, you know, want to do Army stuff. Um, some people just like the camaraderie. Master Sergeant Andrew Cookston works with veterans across the state. He lives in Milford with his wife and right, kids. Miss you. Love you. Hi. <laughs> In December 2023, Shelby Park looked like this. It was a holding area for days when as many as 4,500 illegal migrants would cross. Officials say it's a perfect spot because of low water levels. And it's the reason nearly three dozen Nebraskans immediately volunteered to help. Well, you know, it's something we wanted to do. So we volunteered, um, it, it just something bigger than ourselves. Obviously things look a lot different here in Shelby Park and with National Guard units from about half a dozen states stationed right in this vicinity, they believe they're a big reason why. Reporting alongside Eddie Messel, I'm Bill Schammer, KETV Newswatch 7.